This is a book review of The Ultimate Guide to Modern Calligraphy and Hand Lettering for Beginners. And this is by June and Lucy. And it gives a small little about me um, from Kristen. Here's the table of contents. Um, so it speaks about uh, posture, typography, the basics, tools and techniques, basic strokes, letters, connections and words, variations, illustrations and enhancements, design composition, and final designs. And this is just really a great book for someone wanting to learn um, modern calligraphy. Um, I do like this chapter about posture and positioning. It really gives a great overview and it covers pretty much everything. Here's typography. So this gives you just a really great vocabulary of um, how to um, identify the baseline, the midline, the ascenders, descenders, serifs, and sans serif, downstroke, upstroke, cross stroke, uh, flourish, and swash. This reminds me of, um, um, I know Bible journaling, this is kind of like a bouncing lettering um, that people use or just for journaling or um, scrapbooking. I've seen it to be a very popular um, font. So here it speaks about tools and techniques. Um, and then here it speaks about um, faux calligraphy by adding a second downstroke. So you can just kind of um, really get inspired here. And here are um, tools that it speaks about. Something that everybody has are um, pencil, pens, markers. Um, and then when you get more adventurous, maybe you could move on to a dip pen. But I think this is just really great at introducing you to the basics. So here it shows the basic strokes. So if I was going to use this book to teach someone, I would want to use a printer and make uh, maybe a dozen or even 20 copies and just uh, look at the book, you know, more as a tool for learning. Um, I just don't like writing in my book because then once I write and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here if I'm doing seven upstrokes here, that's the, that's the end of it. Um, so I really don't like writing in my books. I like to use them more as a guide. Um, if you don't have a printer, what you could do is get a light box and put that beneath that and then put a sheet of paper on top of that and use it almost like a projector to where you can just um, practice, practice, and then once the paper's over with, uh, put the paper over there and get a new sheet and that's really great. And um, she gives little tips here. Remember light pressures for upstrokes, hard pressure for downstrokes. Um, here it speaks about the letters. Um, it talks about, um, I love the little introductions. It shows the stroke and then here it shows the basic brush alphabet. That's really great. Um, and then here they are just giving you the basic brush alphabet um, A through Z. And then here is something to inspire you and they're using dot paper as you can see so that's really great when you're uh, beginning because it helps keep you on track. Um, and then here is something inspiring as you move forward remember these important tips. I think that's really nice to include because it helps you um, if you're starting to feel a little bit discouraged. Um, they showed the, up, uh, the lower case and here is the uppercase. And again, uh, they're showing you this, and you can see they give you um, this lined uh, paper. They give you a skeleton outline so you can practice over that. And again, I wouldn't uh, write in this book. I would just copy it so then you can use this book many, many times or even give it to a friend when you're done. Okay, and then it talks about the monoline alphabet. And then here they show you um, to learn faux calligraphy. And I love how it shows the strokes. It doesn't show the order, which I think would have been nice. Um, you know, such as step one, two, three, four. Um, I think uh, for a beginner, again, if they were learning themselves, they might not understand how to achieve this. Obviously, the downstroke is first, but where do you go from there? You know, I think it's just a common uh, thing when someone's learning. And then here it shows variations. I do like that. Just really get you inspired and motivated. Here this is connections and words. Um, this is a really great idea. It's speaking about how to connect letters to form words. Um, 
So here they show them disconnected and then connected. And you can just get the idea. Um, and then here some tips and then the next page connecting letters and you can practice letter combinations. It really guides you and then here are some basic brush lettering words. So great. And then here is variations and illustrations. Um, here is serif alphabet sans serif. Variations, mixing and matching. And then again, um, more inspiration. I do love how there's a little like paragraph um, before you're getting into the next section. Here are flourishes and swashes. Very fun, my favorite part of lettering. Here is something fun, botanical line drawings. So even when you're wanting to learn the hand lettering, you can even start learning how to draw these simple little things but um, it might be a little difficult if you don't know how to draw yet. Um, so again, you could just um, print this out or use a light box and copy it like that. And I think um, learning drawing and learning um, how to write is, uh, I think they go hand in hand. I like these wreaths a lot, very cute. Um, very really popular in modern calligraphy and lettering. Ribbons and banners, doodles and illustrations. And then here is design composition. Um, here they show the final design. And I do like that they use um, this dotted paper. So here you could um, print this out and just use it to practice with. One thing I don't like is that um, on the other side of the paper you can see uh, the printing. Sometimes what they'll do is leave the back page blank if there's too much um, black ink um, which will show through to the next paper or the paper is just too thin. Um, this feels kind of not like usual book paper. I think this was, I'm going to assume that it was independently published, but the paper, I would like it to be a bit thicker and maybe not see through or omitting some pages, leaving this page blank and putting it on the back because then um, when you're trying to duplicate this design, um, it might throw you off um, seeing uh, the lettering on the next page. So you could just uh, buy some of this dotted paper to practice with. Um, that's too bad because I think it would be nice to just be able to print that or again use a light box. That's really it for this book. It's a really great book overall. I would give this an A because I think it's really quite um, in-depth and it can help you just begin hand lettering and I think it can really um, elevate your life because you can be learning um, a lot of good motor skills. But overall I think it's really inviting to all ages and a great step to beginning your journey. So I hope that this was helpful and thanks for watching.